Hello my dear children. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, this is the quiz session about light, sound and force. So children, let's start with the first activity that is fill in the blanks. So children, I'll read the sentence for you and you have to guess the correct answer from the options given in the bracket. Okay children, so we'll start with the first blank. A push or pull is called dash. Yes children, what is this called as? Yes children, it's very simple. Yes, a push or pull is called force. Okay children, now the next one. A candle is a dash object. So children, what type of object a candle is? Is it luminous or non-luminous? Yes, a candle is a luminous object. Because it can give light on its own. Okay children, now the next one. The dash is the main source of heat and light on earth. Yes children, what will be the answer? Is it birth or sun? Which is the main source of heat and light on earth? Yes, it is the sun. It gives us heat and light. Now the next one. Dash are formed when we block the path of light. Yes children, what are formed when we block the path of light? Do images form or shadows form? Yes. Shadows. Shadows are formed when we block the path of light. Now the next one. We hear sounds with the help of our dash. So with which organ we hear sounds? Do we hear with our ears or with our tongue? Yes. We hear sounds with the help of our ears. Right? Now the next one. A shadow is always formed on the dash side of the light source. So where does a shadow form? Yes, children, we studied about this. Yes. It forms on the opposite side of the light source. Okay children, now the next one. Shadows at noon are dash. Yes children, are they long or short? Yes, shadows formed at noon are short. And shadows form in morning and evening are long. Okay children? So I hope you are clear with this activity. Now we will move on to the next activity. That is multiple choice questions. So children, we will start with the first one. When friction is very dash, things don't move. So children, see the option. Is it A, less or B, high? Yes, children, we studied about this. What we studied about friction? When friction is very less, things slide. But when friction is very high, things don't move. So the correct answer is B. Okay, children. Now the next one. Loud and dash sounds irritate us. So what kind of sounds irritate us? 
Is it an unpleasant sound or pleasant sound? Yes. Loud and unpleasant sounds irritate us. So A is the correct answer. Okay, children. All right, children. Now next one. When two things touch each other, dash develops. So what develops when two things touch each other? Is this A fiction or B shadow? Yes. When two things touch each other, fiction develops. So A is the correct answer. Now the next one. A or the dash is a luminous object. So children, what will be the answer? Is it A paper or B sun? Yes. The sun is a luminous object. So B is the correct answer. Now the next one. A or the dash is a non-luminous object. So which of the following is a non-luminous object? Is it A table or B candle? Yes. A table. A table is a non-luminous object. So A is the correct answer. Okay children. Now we will move on to the next activity. That is questions and answers. So I will read the first question for you. And you have to guess the answers. So the first one is Name any three luminous objects. Children, we studied about many luminous objects in the lesson. But we have to name any three out of them. So children, here is the first luminous object. I'm going to write. Yes children, it provides us heat and light. It is the sun. Sun is a luminous object. Then a candle. Candle is also a luminous object. And the last one. Last one is lamp. Lamp is also a luminous object. Okay children. So these are some of the luminous objects. There are also many other luminous objects. Right? Now name any three non-luminous objects. Yes children, there are many non-luminous objects. Non-luminous objects means the objects that do not give light on their own. Yes children, there are many, many objects. So the first one we will write here is paper, then kite, then table. So these are some non-luminous objects. You can write other names also like bed, chair, etc. That do not give light. Now the next one. Give an example of first loud sound, then pleasant sound and soft sound. So children, we have to give one example for each of the sounds. So the first one is loud sound. Yes children, we studied in the chapter. We studied in the lesson, an example of a loud sound is an aeroplane. An aeroplane makes a very loud sound. Second one is pleasant sound. We have to give an example for a pleasant sound. Yes children, 
What we studied in the lesson? Yes. Playing flute or any other instrument gives a pleasant sound and a very sweet sound. Right? And the last one is soft sound. We have to give an example of one soft sound. Yes, children. Whenever we wish, wish for or whenever we talk politely or slowly, it is a kind of soft sound. Right? Okay, children. So, is it clear to you? Is it clear to you about all these three sounds? Right? So let's move on. Now, we will move on to the next activity that is give one word for the following. So children, here are some sentences and you have to guess the answer in one word. Right? So we will start with the first one. An object that does not give out light. Yes, children, what it is called as? Yes, it is called as non-luminous object. Alright, children. Now the next one. The force that slows down movement. What is that force called as? That slows down the movement. Yes, children. When it is very less, we slide. And when it is very high, we can't move. Yes, it is called friction. Right? Now the next one. An object that gives out light of its own. Oh. This is the inverse of first one. Yes, children, it's very simple. Come on. Yes, it is a luminous object. Luminous object gives out light of its own. Now the next one. A push or pull. What it is called as? Yes, it is called as force. A push or pull is called as force. Now the next one. The image formed when an object blocks the path of light. Yes, children, the dark image forms when an object blocks the path of light. What it is called as? Yes, yeah, it is called a shadow. Okay, children. Now the next one. Loud and unpleasant voice or unpleasant sound. What it is called as? Yes, children. Very simple. When all the students or all the children start talking, at the same time in the class, what happens? Yes, noise. Right? You remember children? Whenever you make noise in the classroom, what, what do the teacher tell? What teacher says? Keep quiet and don't make noise. Right? Because it is loud and unpleasant sound which irritates us. Right? So next time be careful when you all are in classroom. Okay? Now we will move on to the next activity that is mark a tick or cross. So children, I'll read the sentences for you and you have to guess whether it is right sentence or the wrong sentence. So we will mark a tick for the right sentence and cross for the wrong sentence. Okay, so we will start with the first one. 
shadows are shorter in the evening than at noon yes children is it the right sentence are the shadows formed in the evening are shorter no we will mark a cross because shadows formed in the evening are longer than at noon now the next one children light helps us to see things is it possible do you agree light helps us to see things yes we will mark a tick this is the right sentence now the next one a bird is a luminous object yes children does a bird gives out light of its own no it is not a luminous object a bird do not gives light of its own okay children so this is the wrong sentence now the last one we see luminous objects only when light falls on them is it true we see luminous objects only when light falls on them is it correct yes children yes children yes it is a wrong sentence so we will mark a cross why is it a wrong sentence because we see non luminous objects when light falls on them right so this is the wrong sentence we can see luminous objects as they are because they give light on their own it does not require any other light to fall on them right so is it clear all right children i hope you enjoyed this quiz session and learned about light sound and force so children keep learning and keep smiling thank you